obviously, like everything else on the exam, the skin is a really important part of the examination. And different aspects of the skin and how thick it is can also give us clues about how premature that baby is. The most premature babies have really, really thin skin and it looks gelatinous, like almost kind of like gummy-ish, like a gummy bear. And because it's so thin, all the veins are like really prominent. You can see them all the way up the skin. Obviously, as babies get older, their skin gets thicker and the veins become a lot less prominent. Lanugo is that really fine, unpigmented hair that babies have on their skin. That starts appearing at about 24 to 25 weeks, and it generally gets kind of more prevalent as the babies get bigger. When babies are first born, they might be covered with like a white kind of cheesy substance all over their body. This is called vernix caseosa, and it actually can be a lot more common in preemie babies rather than term babies. In preemies, you might see this all over the body, whereas in term babies, you're pretty much probably just gonna be seeing it in the folds, neck folds or under the armpit or in the inguinal areas. By the time babies are 42 weeks, if they're delivered at 42 weeks, then you might not see this vernix at all. If a baby is born after its due date, so kind of 40, 41, 42 weeks, they're much more likely to be born with like really dry, peeling skin, especially at kind of 42 weeks. Like we keep saying, babies should have pink skin, especially like their lips, but it can be normal, especially for the first few days or weeks of life, where their hands and feet can go blue even if the rest of their skin is pink. Again, this is called acrocyanosis and it can be completely normal. Acrocyanosis happens because the blood vessels that are kind of feeding the hands and feet are not fully developed. So sometimes they just kind of constrict too much and don't give the blood and oxygen that the hands and the feet need. This resolves completely by itself and it's generally not dangerous at all. Parents do ask about this all the time, so be ready to give them an answer. Cyanosis is where the baby really does appear blue all over. So where we commonly look to see if a baby is really cyanotic is the mouth and the perioral area. If that kind of appears dusky or, or this bluish color, then you need to be worried about cyanosis, where the baby's oxygen in their blood is too low. On a lot of babies now, especially premature babies, the obstetricians will do something called delayed cord clamping, where they wait a minute or so to clamp the cord. This allows a lot of the blood to kind of rush in from the placenta, and it's a great thing. And often these babies are born with like a higher hematocrit. So they're born with more blood in their systems. So they often look like a deep red or like a ruddy color. As part of your examination, you should be looking for any kind of marks from the delivery process. So there could be just bruises or whatever from the trauma of being delivered. Also look for petechiae, which are kind of like little purplish red areas on the skin, which are like little bruises. That could actually be indicative that the baby has low platelets. There may also be deep marks from kind of like a forceps delivery um, or scratches or something. There could also be a mark from the suction of the vacuum that was used. So make sure that you document all of this. Sometimes when OBs are like in a huge rush to get the baby out, there might even be a cut or a laceration on the baby's skin from the OB scalpel. Sometimes we even have to like suture these up or, or derma bond them up. Another interesting phenomenon that can actually be seen in newborn babies is something called the Harlequin sign. And that is where the body is exactly demarcated down its middle and half of the body appears really pale and half of the body appears really reddish and it can be completely normal. Usually it's completely benign and just like acrocyanosis, it's related to the blood vessels squeezing when they're not supposed to. So it can happen if a baby is kind of lying on one side, normally it just really resolves by itself, but it's a very interesting phenomenon. Just make sure that it does go away by itself because sometimes it can indicate like a cardiac disease or sepsis or something. So make sure that it goes away. Right, now go watch the video on neonatal birthmarks. Thank you so much for being here.